Hey guys, I'm Sarah, just kidding. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and we are going to be doing a chicken video hmm, today with diatomaceous earth. So you can see I'm wearing gloves, I've got my super cool mask, and I'm going to teach you all about what diatomaceous earth is, why you may want to use it for your chickens, what people rave about, what people rant about, and just to see if it's an option that might work for you and your birds. All right, so let's talk, what is diatomaceous earth? Why might you want it? And now you don't have to look at my face anymore. Although I did put on a mask for you guys. <laughs> so um, if you've seen my other videos, and I'm gonna make this fairly brief, if you've seen my other videos, then you know that um, diatomaceous earth is something that I've heard about for a while, but for whatever reason, I was always just really kind of leery about it because it's one of those things where people advocate and it has all these benefits and blah, 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 but there are these warnings. So for me, it became, that judgment call of well it'd be safer for us to just not use it but now that i know that one and i believe only one of my birds flopsy way back there she has what i believe are round worms then it be kind of it became a little bit more urgent for me to try to figure something out now as you can see there's the bits of of white powder and that is the de or the diatomaceous earth so very very briefly without getting too nerdy on you guys diatomaceous earth is basically fossilized algae or the skeletons of old dead algae so it's old plant matter and other than it being a minor skin irritant which is why you should have gloves and if you have a lung condition or you as a human if you have a lung condition a respiratory condition um, then of course you want to be careful being around it because the particles are so small as far as inhaling it breathing it in and that's why they recommend that you wear a mask but other than that there aren't really any dangers to any animal that's bigger than a flea or um, a louse or a worm or a parasite and essentially what the fossilized algae or the DE essentially what it does is it binds to the bodies of those tiny little parasites and it kills them and so if you are the size of a chicken or the size of a person other than it potentially being a mild irritant again for a human who has respiratory issues or things like that there's not really any danger at all so um, the concerns or the things that you want to be aware of if you use DE and again this is a very personalized decision it's very you know you have to weigh where your chickens are you know are they free range are they in a coop all day um what's your climate like how rainy is it all of these different things and here's why there's different kinds of de um there's some that i completely forgot about it until i was talking to some other people there's some that are used in like fish tank filters um things like that but you want to make sure that you use food grade because obviously that's safe for your birds for them to consume right and also, if you eat your chicken's eggs, then it's safe for you to consume. So any animal that it goes through, any part of the cycle, if it's food grade, then you don't have to worry about it being dangerous. So other than you just being careful when you handle it, and I just handled the DE, so I'm gonna go take a shower as soon as I'm done here. But other than that, I mean, there's not really anything that it can do to hurt your birds. Now, what you wanna be aware of, and I also spread down new peat moss, as you can see, so they're all like, ooh. So you want your chickens to just hang out with it. You can literally add the DE into the food, um, and depending on which food grade brand you buy, it could be up to 15% of the um, of what's in with your food. So you can mix 15% DE to 85% of their food. Um, you can sprinkle it liberally. You don't even really have to measure um, if it's just for them to play around in like they're doing right now. And I got sick of breaking up that peat moss. So now they're gonna do it for me. <laughs> but you can just sprinkle it around and anywhere that your chickens are going to go where it's potentially gonna be ingested, then it deals with internal parasites, right? Like poor Flopsy and her roundworms. If they're just dealing with it externally, like they're digging around in it right now, I put some in the dust bath, then it's going to help them with fleas and mites and other things that would live on their feathers and down at the skin level. Now, to make it ineffective, or I guess something that you might want to be aware of, just because I know that I'm dealing with roundworms and because we're going through a season change right now, I went ahead and put some outside anyway, but DE does get less effective once it has gotten wet. So you definitely want to focus on areas that are indoors that will always be dry because it won't work as well once it's gotten wet. I, I don't know exactly how that works. I don't remember. I was doing reading late last night in preparation for this video <laughs> um, because that's what I do on Saturday nights is I look up chicken stuff really late and put it on Pinterest. But um, I don't know if it just becomes less effective because then it can't bind to the parasites bodies. That would be my guess because there's not really any, anything actively chemical going on with DE right I mean it's just it's just binding to other things 
So I'm to the point now where I thought, well, you know, I've read enough articles that are, are saying, you know, it's certainly not dangerous. It's certainly not anything that's going to hurt your chickens. The only thing is, eh, if it gets wet, it may not really help. So for me, it being um, in the bucket of DE that I have that I just put away, that wasn't very intelligent. And again, you want to make sure that it says, whoop, that it is food grade. Okay. Yeah, and this whole bucket, it was a pound and a half, and at Tractor Supply, it was seven bucks. And I used probably a little over half of it right now, but I did everything. I did the nesting boxes. I did, um, I added some more. Let me walk around and I'll show you. I added more dirt in here. I moved around a whole bunch of stuff in here and just cleaned and organized, and they were all like, ooh, what's this? What's going on? And so I had nosy birds coming in for inspection. So there's DE in there. So I'd put the focus on the area that I know will remain dry. They like to dust bathe back in here in this little shaded zone. So I just mixed that all up. And I put a little bit in the nesting boxes. And then I thought, you know what? I know they're gonna be playing around in this peat moss because I just added this too. I know they're gonna be digging around in it. So let's just add some here. And if it rains, I don't think it's supposed to rain for days. Um, but if it does rain, then eh, oh well. You know, it's they're, they're getting some use out of it right now. And there's my two Easter eggers playing over in it over there. So see, but they're they're digging around over here, and just like I said in, in my chicken diversion video, if you haven't seen that one, it's a recent upload. Um, you know, just changing around things, like literally go buy a bag of topsoil or a bag of peat moss and come dump it in, and your chickens are like, "This is so exciting!" And they, it will give them something to do. Or I mean, you know, I I changed around the the bricks that I have their water on, and I moved some stuff around in there, and they're just like, "Oh my gosh!" And now they're hanging out in here because. Now to them it's new and exciting. And I've got to put like some plastic or something here so they quit kicking dirt out. Look at this. Jeez. So this is certainly not a, um, you know, I'm going to do diatomaceous earth and bam, my responsibilities are done as far as deworming chickens. Um, especially since I know one now, um, Flopsy does have round worms. So um, they are actually going to get a, a pumpkin here in just a minute, their first whole pumpkin of the season. Um, the pumpkin seeds and the chemicals inside the pumpkin seeds are the best part of the deworming, but any fresh squash, um, they got the seeds of an acorn squash yesterday. Um, anything like that is also a natural dewormer. So we're just doing some natural things right now. And then this week I'm going to take my freelancing money that I make from realsimplemama.com <laughs> and I'm going to go buy chicken medication. Hooray! And then we'll be doing some content on that because that is territory we have not delved into before but just a quick like what is DE should I bother with it um, I say it's worth it um, especially if you've got an indoor zone where you can sprinkle it for your chickens again as long as you're safe when you're handling it there's no risk for you there's no risk for your birds it, it may not be like this miracle solution that just completely changes your life but for the price and for the amount of you know I mean it's super easy you just sprinkle it on the ground and look they're mixing it up for me um, you know for for the price and for the effort it's certainly worth a try I think it would certainly be better as a preventative thing as opposed to oh whoops you know my chickens have worms now I need to do something um, I think it also might be more effective for topical parasites like fleas and um, lice and things like that um, poultry lice can get really annoying when it starts to get warm um, and they just, um, you know, just, just like lice, human lice do on us or mammalian lice, what they do on us is they just go down to the base of the feather and they suck out, you know, the liquid and the goodness. So, um, but I think DE is definitely worth a try. Again, make sure that you handle it carefully, make sure that you get food grade. Um, but the only time you really have to worry about measuring it is if you are putting it in their food. And in that, in that point, um, it's between five and 15%. It depends on the, the, the way that the DE is processed. So you just want to check with that particular brand once you get it. Um, but I have a Pinterest board called Homestead Daydreams. You can check it out. It's not, it's some of my content, but most of it is people who I have found who are smarter than I am. Um, their videos and their articles on all things chicken. So the other thing I read about that I have not gotten yet, when we go to Tractor Supply to look for chicken medication, I'm going to look at barn lime. Um, that's another thing that I've read that, um, you can also get and sprinkle around and it helps keep parasites, flies, bugs, things like that away. So that might be something that I add, probably not until the spring. We're getting cold here, so I'm not as worried about bugs anymore. Um, but barn lime is something else that we'll be looking into. It's on my tractor supply shopping list. But I hope you guys are well. Just a quick little thing to show you what DE looks like, what it is, and why you may want it. So I'm going to give the girls a pumpkin. Um, let me know in the comments if you use DE, if you're interested in it, um, what you like to use for preventative measures. And we'll be back with more stuff soon.